Hey Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Cancer. So if you're a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Cancer, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, Please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Messages for cancer, please. This person is feeling very, very nostalgic about this connection. Um, you both could have traveled together, you know, like some place, some distant land. You both traveled together, you know, like it was a trip you took with this person. And this person keeps looking at the pictures of those trips. You both could love traveling a lot or you both had plans of traveling together, that sort of a thing. Wanted to travel together. For some of you, you could have been married to this person. Or you wanted them to propose to you, something like that. There's something about a ring here. Uh, this person is keeping an eye on you, spying on you, the page of swords kind of energy. This card came out They want to come clean, they want to talk to you, they want to communicate with you. And that is why they're obsessing over you spying on you this person has certainly gained some sort of clarity here like that those light bulb moment that sort of a thing has happened here uh, there could have been self-sabotaging issues here They are in pain and they caused you a lot of pain. Both. Like they caused you a lot of pain and now they are in pain. That sort of a thing. For some of you, this person wants to make some sort of confession here. But they are very afraid. The moon kind of energy. They are very afraid. They are very apprehensive of... Um, you accepting that offer, you giving them another chance. This person, whatever they did to you, however they treated you, whatever the case was here, whatever reason you got hurt, this person has certainly gained some sort of awareness about your value. You helped bring light into this person's life. Right.
Let's see Daryl. You could have blocked this person. The Six of Swords again talks about traveling. So yeah, some of you could have really been married to this person. Ten of Pentacles. This was a marriage. Or like you were engaged, about to get married. Long term commitment even. You wanted to get married. Anything. Something related to a long term commitment, marriage, stability of the future. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Mm, the devil came out. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. devil and the lovers very strong connection here and bottom of the deck we have four of wands okay you can't see that can you we have four of wands ace of pentacles this is the bottom of the deck and the first thing i did notice was we have the six of wands and the two of wands so we have the four of wands in the mix here but four of wands and ace of pentacles Let's keep it here. Okay. Could be dealing with the Gemini. So Pisces, Capricorn, Gemini. Also a fire sign because we have the two of wands, six of wands, ten of wands, four of wands. Um, so you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or you could have these placements. Alright. Um, when it comes to this person's thoughts right now. They are. At, they have to make a choice here. They know they have to make a choice here. Uh, it's very possible that to be with you. This person has to travel towards you or they need to make some sort of big life change, life decision. They need to do something here. Like some important changes need to be happening here for this person to be with you. And this person knows that they have to make those changes. They can't keep um, holding back on making that choice forever. They have to make the decision. They have to make the choice. See how the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Wands fell in reverse on top of the Ten of Wands in upright and the Devil. Yeah, this person has to let go of something here. This could be a past issue, something, some habit, some lifestyle, a place. 
another relationship, something they are holding on to from the past that they need to let go of to be with you. And this is the choice this person is facing here. Yeah, some, look at that. We have death and temperance. Some sort of transformation, some sort of rebirth needs to happen here uh, for this connection to move forward. Also, this person is going through a huge change right now. They're letting go of things, situation, places, people, anything that, that just, that was of no good to them. That was just holding them back from moving forward in life. This person is uh, letting go of all of that. And with the death here, uh, they are, they're going through a transformation. They're understanding. Yeah, see the awareness, right? We do have the awareness card here. So they are understanding the importance and value of letting go of people, things, situations, whatever, to move forward in life. The universe could be teaching them how to balance themselves out, how to... Um, emotionally be balanced, emotionally be stable. This is what this person is learning. They are also learning a lesson on patience here. If this was the kind of person, I did, you, we did get a lot of fire energy here, right? So I did mention you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So if this was the kind of person who was very, very fiery kind of person, very, uh, what is that word? Wow, I completely forgot that word. You know, like, oh. I can't remember the word in and out kind of person hot and cold someone who impatient wow impatient if this was the kind of person who was very impatient then they're learning a lesson on patience here they're learning to balance themselves Almost they are being forced to do this because death and temperance are major arcana. So this is like divine intervention sort of thing happening here. Okay. Right. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Scorpio. the king of wands again there's a lot of passion here especially with the devil the king of wands and i i kept saying fire sign fire sign fire sign and we have the king of wands here this person has a lot of passion for you they want to pursue you they want your attention it's very possible you gave this person, you fed this person's ego, you gave them a lot of attention. A lot of your time, a lot of your patience, attention, you gave them a lot. And this person loved the kind of attention you gave them. And they right now are missing the fact that they don't, you are not there to give them that attention. They're missing uh, you for that. But yeah, they have a lot of passion for you. Okay, let me pick up that card. No wonder they are spying on you because of that passion. Because they don't have access to your energy. They are spying on you. We have Ace of Wands. Can there be more fire? Can there be more passion? And before I was, before I tried picking up this card, I was just talking about how much passion this person has for you. And we have the Ace of Wands here. If you uh, watch tarot videos, you are very aware of what Ace of Wands is. This is the wand. Mm, the kind of person who follows their wand. 
we have the king of wands six of wands and ace of wands um for one thing for sure this person misses the intimacy you both shared the physical sexual intimacy that you both shared this person really really misses it and they can't stop obsessing over you they want your attention very very bad this energy totally makes sense here see ace of wands king of wands um right obsession holding on to you obsessing over you spying on you all right it's impossible for this person to get out of this obsessing energy they just can't stop it they just can't move past this wands kind of energy here they can't move forward in life this person is unable to focus anywhere else move some place else do anything else other than just obsess with you obsess about you nothing's uh, working in this person's life right now there's no forward movement it's almost like their entire life has come to a stop and this person can't do anything about it this could be uh, we do have the devil lovers four of wands right um so this could have this could be a very very spiritual kind of connection and that is why because this person is not doing something about this connection not doing something about themselves uh, that is why they have been very very stunted here the growth has been stunted also this was their feelings we were talking about but we didn't get any cups card instead we got got three wands card and the chariot in reverse could be dealing with uh, another cancer here okay how they see you they see you as someone who has turned their back towards them five of pentacles you have turned their back towards them you have left them out in the cold it's almost like this person feels you don't even care about them at all anymore and that is why their obsession is increasing it's that thing of because you have set your boundaries because you have understood your value and detached from this person now this person finds you very very sexy attractive hot all those things and now they want your attention more than ever they also see you someone as who is very very wise the hanged one Uh, they see you as someone who's very wise also they see you as someone who is looking at this connection looking at this relationship from a different perspective like look at that we have the page of wands queen of wands so much wands in energy in this reading and we do have a match king of wands queen of wands they're very attracted to you right now um i heard a word i'm going to say it um well i'm going to say it just once they see you as some sort of sex goddess Okay. That's all I'm going to say about that. You have really you turn on this person like it's no one's business. Okay. Um 
they might also be aware that you are investing your time in something else something like you're doing things for yourself you're investing in yourself that is the kind of energy uh, they might like you could have started something new in your career and that's where you're focusing on that's what this person sees they also see you as someone who did put in a lot of effort into this connection as i said you did uh, give give this person a lot of attention and that is how this person sees you someone who did put in a lot of effort and this person might feel like you are re really regretting right now putting in that much effort since you literally got nothing mm. okay uh, bottom of the deck we have ace of pentacles so yeah this person might feel like you are having a new beginning someplace else you're taking your energy, your effort someplace else. This is what this person, this is how they are seeing you. Now, when it comes to their true intention, this is too much for this person. This connection is too heavy, too intense, too much for this person to make any sense of it. Ten of Wands and the Devil, the true intentions, they, they can't let you go. They can't let you get out of their mind. They can't stop obsessing over you. They can't let you go. And it's too much. The Ten of Wands is a very heavy burden. And this person is overburdened by the fact of how they feel towards you. Okay, I'm not going to take that name. Yeah. We have the Ten of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Sun here. Right? Could be dealing with the Leo. This person might be realizing suddenly that the happiness they had with you, the connection they had with you, it's impossible for them to replicate it that ever. They will never be able to replicate that again. This is what this person might be thinking or realizing. The true intention is to... See, even the heartbreak, even the pain that has been caused here. That's very heavy for this person too. This person is in a lot of pain. They might pretend not to be. They might... Uh, wear a mask and go about their daily work and pretend that nothing has happened but this person is in a lot of pain they are also understanding their own issues here whatever issues this person had they are understanding those but yeah they want you back the ten of cups they want you back the true intention is to have that Ten of Cups kind of energy that they did have with you. And so, yes, if this, you were married to this person or there was some sort of long-term commitment here, this person wants that back. All right. Okay. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, <coughs> excuse me, okay, we are the Nine of Swords, Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, yeah, this person is going to come towards you, but And the reason is being they can't stop feeling guilty they can't get you out of their head they can't stop obsessing over you they're losing sleep they're losing their mind i heard losing the sanity you, you are haunting this person they're haunted by you this person is really a mess right now they can't even properly sleep at night so they um, are sleep de sleep deprived even 
and knight of pentacles knight of swords this person's it's almost like this person feels the urgency to communicate with you urgency to talk towards you some of you i feel like that this definite energy of you have blocked this person you have blocked them and you are focusing on your own you're focusing on your own independence you're focusing on working on yourself basically you're focusing on your work on your bag of money that's where your focus is Yeah, this person is going to break the silence. High Priestess, Page of Pentacles. Because again, see, Eight of Swords and Eight of Wands. They, they are stuck on you. They can't get you out of the head. So they need to communicate with you. Yeah. Six of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. They need to communicate with you. This person will go insane or mad if they don't communicate with you. All right. Well, that's your reading. Um... Cancer, you could be dealing with the Pisces if I didn't mention that already. Um, that's your reading. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye bye.